last but not least, Pisces. Pisces, let me take away that. And Pisces, what do we have for you, Pisces? How are you feeling, Pisces? Oh, look what I got here. I've got my uh, chart that I do usually. So that I'll show you about. I'll show you the numerology thing and how I do it, and these tarot cards, and the low shoe square and the ESP signs. I have them all here. But uh, first, let's do Pisces. Pisces, I'm going to edit that out for you. But uh, let's shuffle these tarot cards, Pisces. You have a, a lesson to learn from Aries, Pisces. And Pisces is tolerant of Aries' shortcomings. Just like every other astrological sign that proceeds or is advanced behind them. If you're a Taurus, you have a, you have a lesson to learn from Gemini. And you're patient of Aries' shortcomings. Here's a nice shuffle for you, Pisces. So Pisces, are you thinking about things? What's on your mind, Pisces? Is it emotional? Is it financial? We'll find out. Pisces, a reading for the week of August 29th till the end. Oh, let's give them a cut first. Yeah, what am I doing? Cut. One, two, three. Oh, we need key cards. Well, thank goodness I have key cards here. So Pisces, whatever Pisces you are, in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the zodiac, doesn't matter. What does matter is hopefully this will resonate with you and you will pick either number four, number five, or number six. Did I cut this? Let's cut it again. Number four, number five, number six. <clears throat> oh no, 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 sorry. Look, we forgot to mix up these cards. Glad I caught them, eh? I, I don't want to shortchange you. It's the last of the 12 readings. So I guess my throat and I am just getting a little bit tired. I will probably get a 15 minute break, hopefully. And if you need a break too, go get a smoke break. I'll probably smoke. I don't smoke tobacco. And, uh,. I'm going to take a little break. I'll get a drink. Do I have a drink? Oh, I have a drink right here. It's a vitamin C. Mm. Oh, it's warm. Oh, God. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Okay, Pisces. Here we go. Give me a shuffle. Number four. Number five. Number six. Pisces, I want you to pick either number four, number five, or number six. Let's take a look at where you are. The Wheel of Fortune is where you're at. You're picking out some things, picking out a new adventure, making it yourself, talking to another person, coming from a place of Pisces, probably too, too, too pensive, too pensive. You're probably thinking too much, okay? And, and I just say that because I know Pisces. Pisces... You've been, you've been in your world, you're, you're thinking a lot, that's where you're coming from. Uh, step out, step out into the world, be courageous a little bit right now, and just step out. And the, the, this is a major arcana, major arcana, two strong cards, <clears throat> the number nine card, and the, the number tenth card, the wheel of fortune. Picking your own destiny right now is very important to you right now. You're in a position right now today and I guess for the rest of this week to pick a new adventure. Have a relationship with someone, a friend, or something will come in handy. All right, this week. So connect with an old friend. 
connect with someone, make a new friend. If you have a friend, communicate with them what you would like to do. If you're in, if you're, if you have that friend close by, just tap your head right here, right now. Think of that friend, and that's who you need to talk to. Now, Pisces, does this resonate with you? It might. It might resonate even more if you pick one of these numbers. Have you picked it? Is it number five? You'll have to wait. Let's go with number four. Pisces, self-reflection again. Wow, <clears throat> the hermit. You got it twice. Pisces, self-reflection, pensive. Maybe I was right. Maybe the cards are not wrong, right? You've got the kicker card here that's talking about reflection and overthinking things. And I have the funny feeling that maybe you might be overthinking things. It takes courage. It's going to take courage for you to step out and do this new thing. So I will put this with this courage right here. Self-reflection obviously has to go over here. The plane that we picked that up from was the mental plane and the thought plane. So think things through over here and have the courage to do to do that something new that you need to do. All right? Let's take this out. That's for you if you pick number four. What if you didn't pick number four? What if you pick number five? <gasps> Beautiful. So Pisces, still the same thing, right? Thinking about things, that's what I thought. If you pick number five, number four, number five is the will. So this this relates to having a strong will, right? But putting your heart into it. Really putting your heart to it. In authentication, well, maybe you had started off from a ground that wasn't too solid, okay? But guess what? Doesn't matter. Stop thinking about that. Don't don't worry about that. That was a different ground that you thought, all right? Rebirth and reawakening. Absolutely. Right here. In conjunction with this. Right? Rebirth, reawakening. Because of the wheel, you will succeed in having this new adventure. All right? That's what this is about. Changing up. Make the change right now. Rebirth, reawakening. That's judgment. The 20th is the joint. You see in a lot of tarot cards, the trumpet and people coming out from the graves, right? It's a rebirth, a, an awakening. Do it. This is beautiful. Follow it. Now, I mentioned that it's about the heart. Good. Put these away. <clears throat> Pisces, what if that didn't vibrate with you? Well, this should. This should. If you pick number six, you got the plane of action and the practicality. So be practical about it, all right? Think about it. Inner voice, oh my goodness, guess what? Inner voice is the high priestess. I'm gonna put it right here. Shift perspective, yes. Shift perspective from what you were doing to where you're going, to where you are. You've, you need to shift perspective. It needs to be even right along here. It probably needs to be all along here. Your inner voice, trust your inner voice. You've got, you've got a lot of experience, karmic experience. The high priestess knows. You should know. You know. Connect to that. Change perspective. All right, Pisces, this was your reading for the August 29th till the end of the week. I hope it resonated. I think it did. I hope it did. These are gone. What about your lucky magic square Pisces? Numbers that you could use. Let's take a look see. Pisces. I got two monitors going because I got so much stuff. There it is Pisces. Your lucky numbers. They await you. Use them whatever fashion you want. This is not for your own personal birthday, but it's for the Pisces that begins on March 19th, 2022. So if you know someone that was born on that day, this is their lucky numbers and their magic square. Let's put that away for now. And that is my zodiac reading signs. Now the